I was scared. I understand, and I believe you. No. So is that finally it now? Have we discovered the real truth about Kazuma's death at last? Ah, something very nearly slipped my mind. Uh, just one more thing. Oh, Mr. Sholmes. This photograph. Yes, I took this myself, you know. Good for you. The cause of death was a broken neck. Therefore, the victim died instantly. And the unfortunate incident that precipitated these events, a kitten, on which the victim stumbled. However, if those are the facts, there is one particular area in this photograph that seems to be somewhat unnatural. Wow. What? What uh. do you mean, unnatural? It means we're trying to pad out the time of this game. Good man, pay attention. What are your thoughts on the matter, Mr. Narahodo? Huh? Uh, well, I haven't really thought of it, you know? Kazuma tripped and fell, and by some terrible stroke of bad luck, broke his neck. Which part of this photographic mm. print seems unnatural? I, no I hate everything about this. I that, 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 just that. want to be done with this case. You know what I want? Is it his fisted hand? All I want is a cup of joe. Some French I can think of three areas. This is too obvious, though, so let's try the fist. Yes! Alright, if he really fell due to an unfortunate accident, then this fist just doesn't seem quite right. Ah, uh, he wouldn't be... The exact same thought occurred to me. Okay, good. Why did the music not stop? <laughs> His fist. EBI. In a fall, one's instinct is to open the palms flat. Uh, That's maybe... True. Maybe someone did the military thing. No, I don't want to think about it. And yet here we see the victim with his left hand tightly balled into a fist. Almost, you might say. As though he were gripping something. Or maybe he was fighting someone. Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, simply that I took the liberty. Hey, that's my job! Of investigating the victim's fist a short while ago. You did? You investigated his fist, did you? And what, pray, do you imagine I found there, my dear fellow? The secret clue we've been looking for? Mr. Sholmes, show us, please! Do, 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 do. Why, of course, my dear madam, why would I keep you in suspense? <clears throat> this is what I found. Her earring? That must have hurt. Oh, a crescent moon with a little gemstone in the middle. Mm, in the middle. Fiddle. Ah, you're right. A crescent moon. It's very pretty, but what does it tell us? Hmm. <laughs> it tells us nothing. Yes, it does. I'm not so sure. That crescent moon looks uh, familiar. Looks familiar somehow. It's Oh. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before. Is that why she's always... only showing us her left side? Because her right side's missing the earring? That could be. Maybe. Me, it could be. Observation, Mr. Narhado. That is the key. Okay. What? <laughs> yeah, she make a spot of tea. The truth is now tantalizingly close. How did that crescent moon come to be in Kazuma's clenched fist? 
This is the final clue, the last piece of the puzzle. Ask yourself, what does this little crescent moon mean? What significant has it? Okay. And observe. Find the answer with your own eyes. To her right ear. There it is. Well, there it is. Rather, there it isn't. She has such petite ears among that beautiful hair, like little pink shells. It's a very cute description. Yeah. Oh, what's that? There's something attached to her ear. Ah, I expect that's what's called an earring. It's a little piece of jewelry. I know what, a piece, what an earring is, Susato. An earring, is it? it <laughs> Apparently, I don't know what an earring is, Susato. <laughs> an earring, is it? It really is tiny. <laughs> Not Susato. Uh, Narado. Chichi. Oh my God, he's so he's well, so dense. Well, uh, earrings weren't exactly uh, really. They weren't really big in Japan back in those days. Yeah, okay. that's true. Okay, but still, I just find it funny that I said it's a. I know what an earring is, and then the game is like, no, I don't know what an earring is. <laughs> well, you have to remember that this is when Japan was just first really opening its ports to right. the to Western trade. Right. Yeah. Perhaps part of it is missing. Maybe it broke off? So now all that's left is the class part that attaches to the ear? If that's the case, logical. She doesn't appear to have noticed that it's broken. Yes. She didn't notice. How did she not notice? Good question. Miss Pavlova, I noticed that on your ear. Even though you have a metal earring, the decorative part of it seems to be missing. Ah, the little link holding it on must have broken, I suppose. Mm. Eh? What? But looking at your other ear, I notice a crescent moon. Ah! Oh. I don't believe it. Please tell me we're going to trial soon. Please tell me we're going to trial soon. I don't think there is going to be a trial. We are on a ship. Now, the missing crescent moon was found in the victim's clenched fist. Clearly, there is only one logical conclusion. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Narahodo? Yes. Good game's afoot. Miss Pavlova, Mr. Sogi must have grasped that crescent moon and pulled it from your ear. Ow. Perhaps just moments before he fell to the floor. In other words, is your right ear longer than your left one now? <laughs> Last night, Does in it Mr. Sogi... to and fro? Last night, in Mr. Isogi's cabin, you witnessed the moment when the victim fell with your own eyes. In fact, you were quite literally at arm's length from him. But then the question is, why did Mr. Isogi do that? Why did he pull your earring from your ear and hold it in his clenched fist during his final moments? Oh no. Oh yeah! Angel? Earth Angel, Earth Angel. No one can protect you now. Please, Miss Pavlova, tell us the truth. Last night, what did you do to Kazuma? Uh, hey! When I think about everything that happened yesterday, it. It was too much. Maybe. Running away, the fishing boat in the middle of the night, trying to climb onto this, this huge ship. And then, when I was at last in this cabin, and I could relax after this horrible long day. Meow. Arka, wait!
I couldn't believe it when she disappeared through the the ventilator. I tried to call her with a little whistle. I, I tried waving her favorite toy. But nothing worked. Darka would not come back. Mm-hmm, okay. What are you doing here at this time of night, Inspector? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was a friend of mine. The young man from your country, he was very polite and kind. You took my boyfriend away from me. He helped me to find Darka, and he promised not to tell anyone. But then, when I had my friend in my arms again, and I was going to leave the man's cabin... Just a moment, sorry, but... Oh. Yes? I'm sure I know your face. I've seen you somewhere before. Ah. Uh. Ah, of course. You're Nikolina Pavlova, aren't you? The Russian ballerina. Uh-huh. No, I, I don't know that name. My heart nearly stopped when he said that he knew who I was. How could this man from a land in a faraway east know a Russian ballerina? Russia's, uh, Russia's not that far from Japan. No, it's really not. Yeah, I saw your performance in Japan. The beauty of the ballet made a deep impression on me. <laughs> but... What are you doing on this ship? I'm sure I read your ballet company was performing in Shanghai at the moment. I don't know who that is. I can't fool him. I have to tell him the truth and hope he doesn't tell anyone. I have no other choice. That's my line, oh, obviously. Can I read it? Sure. I can't fool him. I have to tell him the truth. And hope he doesn't tell anyone. I have no other choice. Hmm, I see. So you've run away. Please, please keep my secret. Don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. Golly. Give me a moment. I could use another opinion here. He's going to pull that cord. He's going to tell the captain. Why did I think I could trust him? Oh. He was asking for Ryunosuke's opinion. Then it happened. Oh. Everything at once. <laughs> it was only a second, but it felt like forever. Wait, I shouted. And then... Darko jumped out of my arms and down to the young man's feet. And... As he turned around to look at me... I... I pushed him. Darko used takedown. It's super effective. Don't even know why. No. I don't know why I did it. I I was just so scared. And I had to stop him from telling anyone about me. I 
And that's when you went to fetch help? From Seaman Stroganoff, who was on duty out in the passageway. I heard Nina cry out, and thud on floor, so I ran to her. She was standing at cabin door, shaking like leaf. She looked at me and said, As to me, Beef, if they find out, it will be... Please, I have nowhere to go. So you decided to help. And that's when you arranged things in Kizuma's cabin to make it look like I did it. So that no one would suspect the passenger in the cabin next door? What? Yes. I went into cabin and I looked around to make sure there was nothing to show Nina was there. And then I found Stowaway. In wardrobe. Still sleeping. Right, that's when he found me. So you worked out a plan to lay the blame on the stowaway. Very Russian thoughts. I closed the wardrobe doors and put back strange paper sign. Luckily for me, that's the only reason Susato-san started to believe me when I said I was innocent. I dragged young man's body to good place and used ink that was spilling to write on floor. I wrote... Uh, Russian word for wardrobe, so that person who found him would look inside wardrobe and find stowaway. And tell me, what of this glass bell? It was by my feet, so I picked it up. I see. But it was dark in the cabin. I didn't notice the other half. Then Angel went back to her cabin and I finished job. By pressing the emergency alarm button in the passageway? Oh. Yes. Accordingly, the SS Barrier did indeed come to an emergency halt at a little after 2 a.m. Thus enticing the bolt on the cabin door to slide shut, creating the locked room mystery. There's still one thing I don't understand, Miss Pavlova. One thing? What? Well, you said that you told Kazuma about the fact that you'd run away from your homeland. And it's because you were worried he was going to tell the captain that you pushed him. Isn't that right? Yes. But even if he had pulled the bell cord and called for the captain of the ship, aren't you friends with every member of the crew? Why would that have been a problem? It was what he said first, that made me scared. <laughs> what he said first? Oh. 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 Do we even need to reread that line or can we just skip it? Nah, skip it. Oh. I'm sorry. I thought it was a friend of mine. He said an inspector was his friend. <sighs> ah, yes, meaning me. Who was supposed to be acting as his bodyguard. I thought it, if police knew about me, they would arrest me. Aww. I kind of feel bad for her. So oh, before yeah. he could pull the cord, I... I... May I stop you for a moment, please, Miss Pavlova? It just doesn't seem to make sense. I mean, 
Was Mr. Asogi really going to pull the cord? I don't know. What? What do you think, Mr. Naruhato? I think he was... She was... Well, I'm not he Kazuma, was so I can't day. know for certain. Sorry. Um, what were you saying, Golden? I think he was gonna ask Ryanosuke. Okay, yeah. yeah I think too. he intended, fully intended to knock him up. Yeah. Knock him. In Britain, what? that means wake up. Yeah, you know, you knock someone, knock on someone's door and wake them up. It's been you. It's it's used in a lot of Sherlock Holmes stories. Uh, okay, I've never heard it called that before. I thought you were making a euphemism. Well, I'm not Kazuma, so I can't know for certain, but. He was a man of his word. If he told you he wouldn't give your secret away, then he wouldn't have done. No, he... he was walking over to it. No. He was going to pull the cord. He was going to make them send me back. Well, Mr. Narado. The day's work is not yet done, it seems. There is one more deduction to make. Another one! What? Another one? What? Really? Come on. Why can't we just- Are we counting that one? The second one counts, yes. Yes. What action was the victim really about to take at that moment? It was, My it was gonna, game. He was gonna, he was gonna get, get a book and ask for her autograph. I don't know. It closed the damn window already. <laughs> the poor man's dead. I admit defeat. Now that he's not actually killed in the middle of the frickin' floor, we know he was actually killed on the bedpost. Can we determine whither the young man's gaze was directed? When did you become Urianje? First, consider the victim's location within his cabin. That's easy, I remember yes. every detail of that room. I mean, yes, I spent quite a lot of time in the wardrobe, but still. That cabin has been my home for this entire voyage. Hmm. So this is how the cabin looked last night when Miss Pavlova visited Kazuma-sama. Yes. That's exactly how it was. Are you ready then, Mr. Narhodo? Yes. If there's one thing I've learned today, it's that a simple gaze can reveal all manner of truths. And not only that, in order to draw the right conclusion, you can't oh, afford to be out by even a little bit when you're following the gaze to where it lands. So when he turned away from Miss Pavlova, what exactly was Kazuma looking at? Ow. I know exactly where he was looking. It's as simple as that. <laughs> Considering everything that had happened last night, certainly it may have looked as though Kazuma was going to ring the bell cord. Yes, however... What is directly beside the bell cord? The wardrobe. Dramatic pause. The wardrobe? And more importantly, what was inside the wardrobe? The man's great friend, sleeping soundly. Ah! Uh. Uh. Miss Pavlova, please, think back very carefully. What were Mr. Asogi's exact words last night? Ooh. That's Kazuma. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. I could use another opinion here. Another opinion. That's right. Yes, but not from a member of the crew. No, Mr. Asogi intended to consult his close friend on the matter. To see if, between them, they might be able to help in some way. No doubt. 
Oh no! Oh no! Sadly, we can't know the truth for certain now. It's too late for that. But I wish you had made sure of what a Mr. Osogi was looking at. No kidding. Things may have ended very differently, if you had. I'd make her feel even worse. Miss Pavlova. I feel so bad for her. I want to thank you for finally admitting the truth. But unfortunately... The truth is, a man lost his life because of what you did. And that will never that's, change. That's true. I hope you'll never forget that. Never forget that. I'm sorry. Really, I'm so, so sorry. Really? What have I done? Become a thief from the night. I'm about to cry. <laughs> I feel bad for her, even though she. I do too. And so, at long last, the mystery surrounding the tragic an accident on the SS Baria was finally laid to rest. Yes, we're done with chapter two. We're done with chapter two. Okay, thank Are God. We? Wait, I think so. Are I think we? so. Oh, I... there's the post. No. Content. Doesn't look like we're completely done. God damn it, game. Hey, what will happen to Mess? And his face. His face is fixed too. <laughs> that healed up surprisingly quick. What will happen uh, to Miss Pavlova Mr. now then? Once we reach Great Britain, she'll be handed over to the British police at Scotland Yard. What about the fact that she ran away from Russia? Won't the Russians try to rip. repatriate? Won't the Russians try to repatriate her? Yeah, no, because, uh... Apparently, the English detective can speak to the immigration office and sort all that out. Mr. Sholmes can do that? So she won't be going back to Russia, then? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. If she wanted to return the future, I doubt she'd be able to. That sounded a bit more like she Shorts. ran away. <laughs> so now she's an exile for life. I see. I see. I'm sorry. Seaman Stroganoff? I wanted to help her, Angel, no matter what. But I didn't think about you, about how you lost good friend. I will go with Nina. I will give myself to British police. That's kind of you. In the meantime, thank you for letting me go free again. Kazuma's death feels like such a waste, but... Well, do what you can for Miss Pavlova, won't you? Da. Da. Well, I'm afraid you need to pack now. We're due to arrive in Hong Kong tomorrow, as much as it pains me. I'm going to have to hand you over to the Consul to arrange your passage back to Japan. No. No. Okay. Yes. I did stow away after all. I couldn't really expect any different. So, you should get back to your cabin now. It looks like my study tour to Great Britain is over before it even begun, then. To oh, think no. that only days ago, Kazuma and I were laughing together about how we'd tear up the streets of London. That seems like a distant memory now. Oh, what's that? Is it someone weeping? Susato-san? Naruhato-san, I... I didn't know you had returned. Oh, uh, well, I haven't been back long. 
Inspector Hosanaga just told me I should pack, you know, ready to leave the ship tomorrow and all that. I still can't believe this has happened. Me either, honey. <laughs> I can't believe someone's life can just be over just like that. Somebody give her a hug! I'm trying! I want to hug her so bad! Oh, so sad, so -san. I want all three of us to be hugging her right now. <laughs> uh, I've literally never said that about a video game character before. You haven't played- you haven't gone far enough into Final Fantasy XIV yet, clearly. Yeah. He had such grand ideas for this visit to Great Britain. So many dreams. And now they've been cruelly taken away. Just as he has. I thought I could never forgive the person responsible. But now... Now we know the truth. That it was just an accident. Mm, yes and no. Just a silly series of mishaps. It's just too much, Narahado san. It's just too much. Very sad dots. Yes, I know. Uh. I don't know. Let's say it's Hosunaga san. I wish there was something I could say, such as... How do they oh know? Oh god, it is. <laughs> what are you doing in, my, in his bedroom? Inspector? My duty was to see a Sogi-san safely to Great Britain. But I failed, and caused his two closest friends great pain and suffering as a result. I've let everyone down. And I will do anything to make up for my terrible blunder. Nobody blames you, Inspector. And I'm free again now, at least... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I hope he did that as a joke. Surpr surprise, Miss Narahodo. <laughs> yes, I am surprised. God, our what? wet owner has got to be <laughs> real high by now. Isaac, you are freaking crazy. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Oh, a trifling matter. Simply that in my head, I shall always picture you wearing those shackles. Kinky. <laughs> Without them, the balance seems all wrong. It is distracting. Okay, so you are into that then. Good arms to know. Came up, I thought what, but the word just didn't come out. <laughs> Sorry? So I decided to restore them, for all time's sake. Shall we say? You are a stowaway, after all. He thinks this is funny. I don't know, I think it's kind of hilarious. Mr. Sholmes? Mouse stopped working for a second. Mr. Reed. We do appreciate all your assistance. I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I'd like to thank you from the heart of my bottom. Not at all, not at all. And though it's a little late, may I offer my sincere condolences. Now please, sign my book. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The loss of your companion is truly heartrending. I hope you'll be able to fulfill some of his aspirations in his honor. <laughs> I'm afraid that won't be possible. We shall be disembarking at the next port in Hong Kong. We are to return to Japan and make a full report about everything that's happened. What? Wait a minute. It's just me that has to go back, isn't it? I mean, I'm- I was the stowaway. Ow. 
The terms of this study tour were negotiated by the Department of Justice in both Great Britain and Japan. It was to be one lawyer and one assistant. It didn't specify a name though, did it? Was to be? In the light of Mr. Asogi's... Should it just be in light? In light of Mr. Asogi's unfortunate death. I'm afraid the study tour can no longer go ahead. Oh no, I don't care for me, but... Poor Susato-san. My dear fellows, the majority of problems have an extremely simple solution, you know? He's not wrong. He's suggesting Mr. Narahato takes the stand. Quite so. All you require is one lawyer, and the study tour can continue, surely. Yes, that's right. That's but right, there is no one else with the necessary qualifications, Mr. Sholmes. We know of no other, no other lawyer. I may not have qualifications, but I did win a case. What? Qualifications? What are you, you saying? <laughs> Sustato? Any qualifications? Give him an action. Oh my God. Any qualifications obtained in your own country will be of very little value in Great Britain, I'm afraid. That's even true nowadays, you have to pass the bar in whatever district you're in, you know. Oh, but... This is a big but. But anyway, the voyage to London still promises a good month of time. Ample opportunity, I would say, to find yourselves another suitable <coughs> lawyer. Yes. Yes. Um, Miss Susato? Yes? Do you think perhaps I might be able to do it? Ah! Uh. But you're not a lawyer, Miss Anarahodo. He's still oh, a student. Unless... Are you studying law? Well, no, I'm not, but... Isn't he? No. I'm sorry. In that case, I don't think there's even a chance it could work. But... But... Wasn't he? No, he but wasn't he was. studying law. But what was he said. studying then? He was a college student too, wasn't he? Yeah, he was studying something else at a... I don't know. Pretty sure it said he wasn't studying law in the first case. Hmm. But as I said, I have to go watch the other episodes again. Sorry. But as I, but as I said, there is still much more than a month before we reach England shores. Isn't that right, Mister Narahodo? Yes, I have a month in which to study to learn what I must to become a lawyer in Great Britain. Mister Narahodo. That's ridiculous. Are you seriously suggesting anybody could learn all of that in just 40 days? I learned how to code in 30. There's only one way to find out. I would work my fingers to the bone, Inspector. Every single day. Will you let me try? And if by the time we reach Great Britain, I haven't learned enough to be recognized as a lawyer, I'll take whatever punishment is deemed appropriate. <laughs> but... Why put yourself in such a difficult position? For Kazuma. He said that there was something he had to do in Great Britain. And that he would sacrifice anything to make it happen. He was passionate about it. I can't let all that passion mm. just come to nothing. And anyway, it's for my own benefit, too. Yeah, you don't want to waste the passion tokens. I will become a lawyer. I have to. What do you say, Miss Susato? Hmm. Aw, oh, she has oh, such a pretty so chin! Oh my god, I didn't think she had teeth or something. I think it's a wonderful idea. Her smile! Do, do, do. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, uh. <clears throat> I'm crushing on a video game character, don't mind me. <laughs> she has such a cute smile. Yes. 
So, what does our bespectacled investigator say? Hmm? Do, 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 do. Are you serious? No, I'm Snape. One lawyer and one assistant. The numbers are indisputable. No, 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 no! It's madness! Yet fascinating, wouldn't you agree? Fascinating? Duty and rules are the dull routine of existence that we all abhor. Give us interest, give us fascination! Speak for yourself! You're arguing with yourself and losing! Besides, <laughs> qualifications are no measure of a man. What matters is his character. No? Ah. Oh. And you've witnessed ample evidence of this man's exemplary character today with your own very eyes. From the early hours of this morning until this very moment now. Despite contending with the passing of his close companion, and despite the accusation of guilt, this man has shown resourcefulness, intelligence, and above all, courage. I've taken the liberty of adding a few dots to my statement. Very well. You've also seen it in the courtroom, Hosanaga. You've got to admit it. Yes. I'll think of a clever way to word my report to the Department of Justice. Inspector? Ahem. <clears throat> After all, I did just make a promise, didn't I? I said I'd do anything to make up for my shortcomings here. Oh, thank you, Inspector. I love him. He's a good fellow. If you'll excuse me, I must pay a visit to the captain's quarters, I think. By which I mean the bathroom. I need to discuss what to do next and how best to make my report. Adieu. Perfidas and good night. Are you really prepared to attempt this, Mr. Marahado? Yes, I'm going to try. I wonder. Would you consider teaching me what I need to know? Everything about being a lawyer? We've already had two tutorial levels. You've learned everything you need to know already. I would be delighted to help you. I am a judicial assistant, after all. Thank you. And Mr. Narahato, I'd like you to take charge of this. What? Me? Are, are you sure? I'm sure it's what Kazoma-sama would have wanted. Oh, Totally. Its name is Karuma. It's a great sword that has been in the Yasogi clan for generations. Very well, I accept. I've I'll treasure it always. So then, Miss Susato. It seems we'll be working together for, for some time to come yet. It will be an honor, Mr. Narahato. Blah. And for the next 40 days, I shan't grant you a single minute of freedom. Oh, great. Lovely. We shall fill every spare moment with study. Study, study, yes, that's study, exactly study, what I need. Study, 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 study. But before we begin, I have an earnest favor to ask of you, too. Goodness, what is it? Please throw me to the ground. <laughs> Three <Excuse times>. me? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> I think that counts as a what. <laughs> that counts as two what's for me. 
Um, and I think I think at least one of Stake's excuse me counts as a what too. <laughs> what? <laughs> that definitely counts. Golden. <laughs> if your mind was is in that the gutter earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it is. Excuse me. It, actually, I'm you know sorry, what this Golden. is? You want to know what this is? I'll tell you what this is. I will tell you precisely what this is. Give me a second. I will tell you exactly what this is, and you can flash whatever you want on the screen when I do it. All right, are you ready? Listen closely. Bourbon moment. What? <sighs> Make that two bourbon moments. <laughs> okay. I should never have doubted you. You were Kazuma-sama's closest friend. Of course you would never have done anything to hurt him. I'm still thinking of <laughs> the line where she said, throw her on the ground. <laughs> that should have been obvious to me from the start. Well, you know what? If he's the ancestor of Phoenix Ride, he's got to get some at some point. But I allowed suspicion to get the better of me. And no matter how upset I was feeling, it was completely unforgivable behavior. No, no, you were in shock. You just found out about me stowing away, and the cabin door was locked from the inside. No, I won't let you make excuses for me. Simber knows Whatever something. the circumstances, I should never have thrown you. Not just once, but five times. <laughs> that number keeps creeping up, doesn't it? Please, you must. Just take hold of me and throw me. Do it. Don't even think about it. No, I don't even know how. I've never thrown anyone in my life. Very wise, Miss Sonarahodo. It isn't a skill one acquires without considerable training. Oh yeah, you know Bartitsu, don't you? Oh, Mr. Sholmes. I observed your throwing technique several times with great interest. I confess that I was most impressed. Yeah, he was there every time she threw Rianosuke. When did he see that? Wasn't he there every time she threw him? Mm, I reiterate. No. I presume that would be a form of Japanese wrestling. Judo, right? Oh, well, in a way, it's not wrestling, but my own interpretation of an ancient jujitsu technique. Apparently, it's called the Susato Takedown. It leaves your head swimming, believe me. It's super effective. Hmm, how beguiling. So he's thinking the exact same thing I am. I am a practitioner of the combative arts myself, and of somewhat of an accomplished boxer. He's not thinking that way at all. So Stay. hold on. Wait a minute, if he's, um, if he has a court document related to his combat, does that make it a boxer brief? <laughs> there he goes, dancing around again. <laughs> I wonder if you'd be so kind on to instruct me as the technique of your arresting throw. Oh no, now he's gonna throw y'all. Yes, I'd be honored. Oh, Lord. What have you done? Then let us not today. Demonstrate, my dear madam. Dear lady. Oh, of, of course. Well, oh, excuse me. Are you ready, Mr. Narahato? Sorry? Oh, God. Oh, no, no, uh, no, yeah. no, no, no. When's it gonna be my turn? <laughs> She did it on him to demonstrate. As you can see, you throw from the ab abdomen. The more you know. Oh, yes, arresting indeed. And that is what you termed the Sasato takedown, was it? Actually, no. That was a Susato squash. Lovely. <clears throat> In my groggy state of consciousness, a scene from an evening recently spent with Kazuma flickered into my mind. Oh. Oh. 
Well, let me prepare his oh, voice. Yes, Here we go. Mm. Karuma? Oh! Karma! Karuma. That's right. It's a prized sword that's been passed down through generations of the Asogi clan. I can't believe you managed to get permission to bring it with you. I mean, taking a katana on a study tour is more than a little irregular, surely. Huh. A Japanese man's sword is his soul, Ryunosuke. I can't be parted from my katana. Karuma guides me. I truly believe that. So its name compels its wielder to slice evil in two? Not that you would need much compelling. On that subject... Huh. There's something very important that I have to do in Great Britain. Oh, okay. I drink tea and eat bangers and mash? I'll sacrifice anything to make it happen. I'd appreciate you seeing it through with me. Uh, of course I will. Whatever it is, I'll see it through to the end with you. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Man. That important thing he had to do. I still don't know what that was. Oh. Dang it! I don't know, propose to Susato on London Bridge? I don't know. But I'm going to see the place for myself and work it out. In Great Britain's capital, London. Aw, oh, this was this was a great chapter, this. Yes. Except for the fact that our best friend died. That too. He got me. Minor details. Minor details. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. So, so, so like, this, time, this time this time it actually showed this time it actually showed me. Um like it actually showed the achievement on there. Um Yes, I saw it too. All right. Um, episode three: The Adventure of the Runaway Room. We're not doing that yet. Return to the title screen. Yes. Yes. Logdush. And it's back to the courtroom. And that will do it for. Well, we don't know that it'll be back to the courtroom. That'll do it for chapter two. Well, the background is back of... to the courtroom. Of what game is this again? Boiling. Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Yes, that'll do it. We'll see you guys in Chapter 3. Peace. Bye. Chatter. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like my content and you'd like to support me, have a look at my Patreon page, where you can get rewards like joining my Discord server, requesting my next LP, and even guest commentating an episode. Link is in the description down below.